Oh, hello there. Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from the up-to-date sandwich book of 1909, we're going to be making the brown egg sandwich. And it is not called the brown egg sandwich because we use brown eggs. Uh, you'll see. You'll see why. Now, in 1909, the uh, construction began on the ill-fated Titanic. Oreos were first introduced, and uh, American author Eudora Welty was born. Okay, first thing we do is mash two and a half hard-boiled egg yolks with butter. And we add a drop of vinegar. And we add a little salt, a little pepper. It did not say how much. A little French mustard. And Tabasco. Here comes the brown part. Boston brown bread in a can. Now we cut off some thin slices, butter them, and then we put in our egg mixture. Okay, let's give this brown egg sandwich a go. So here's the thing, Boston brown bread is slightly sweet. They use molasses in it to sweeten it up. They also have like four different flours in it, like rye and wheat. Um, and fun fact, it actually originated out of the uh, Puritan era here in the United States, back when the um, folks first came over from England. Um, and you can make it in a can from home. I've done that before as well. But here's the thing, you've got this sweet bread, a little bit of tang from the mustard and the vinegar, a little kick from the Tabasco, and then egg yolks. I do want to try plussing up with one thing though. And plus it up with some dill pickles. Okay, let's give this brown egg sandwich plussed up with some dill pickles a go. That kind of works. You got the sweetness of the brown bread, the sharpness of the dill pickles, and then the richness of the egg yolks. And of course, the egg yolks have the butter, vinegar, and Tabasco in there. Okay, see so the original brown egg sandwich. It was interesting. Um, the sweet bread along with the uh, mustard and vinegar and Tabasco laced egg yolks wasn't bad. It was interesting. Interesting is the best way to put it. I'm going to give that a four and a half. Full credit to Christine who came up with the idea of using dill pickles because again, you got the sweetness of the bread, kind of like in a barbecue sauce, along with dill pickles and the richness of the egg yolks. Kind of worked. I think that probably brought it up to maybe like a five and a half. I will finish it. I won't make this again though. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow. Oh, and uh, yes, there will be many more Boston brown bread recipes coming soon. Don't worry, I'll try and spread them out, but I opened the can, I gotta use it.